up ahead by the same number, 38 to 33, the numbers after the first 20 minutes of action. Well, uh, clearly you see that there uh, Mendora having a plus eight when it comes to field goal attempts from Aliens because of how they execute their uh, triangle offense. But the inside point still on the side of Mendora, there are plus 12 in there. Ken Bono's been really having his day inside, especially those good assists in the, the, inside the shaded area. But Bicolanja getting a lot of help from the bench. So Marvin Lee together with Chris Javier accounting for 13 of the 23 bench points of Picolanja. Then on fast break points, it's 12 versus 8 in favor of Picolanja. And all these fast breaks are really what forced Mindoro to be fouling a lot. And so that on the free throw standpoint, it's a plus 12 advantage on attempts favor for Bicol over that of Mindoro. Oh, what's very clear here is Picolanja is looking to run while Mindoro really trying to set up their triangle offense in the half court. But they do have 8 fast break points to show for. But Ito nga ang Bicolandia, they already have 12. As you take a look at their leading scorers, Chris Javier off the bench with 8. Alanis and Lee combining for 10 points, while RJ Deles has that one three-point shot from that left corner earlier. Sa kabilang panic naman, Ken Bono leading all scorers for Mindoro with 8. Olivares with 7. Teodoro with 6. And Paul Desiderio with 5 points after struggling to shoot that basketball in the first quarter. I uh, see right there, it's the total 19 points on the starters alone of Mendoro as opposed to... And we now enter the twilight zone as brought to you by GameX. Picolania with a chance, an opportunity to score on the fast break, but they throw it away, giving the guys in blue a chance to extend this lead. Now you gotta Lee, be able to defend. Four. Yeah, now you gotta be able to defend here against uh, Mindoro. Melton, the Desiderio on the right quadrant. Mark Yu is right in his grill. They blitz ball. Teodoro, another three oh. on the way. That is good. Kate Teodoro is scorching hot. Boy. Tete really finding those open spots on that DHO a little bit. Just one little one-two step, getting into that rhythm three. And talk about Paul Desiderio being unselfish, trying to find open teammates. And right here, Tete just says, I got this, guys. It's all net. Oh, Desiderio already with five assists in this game. But that... Colandia sinking back-to-back threes to give his squad a four-point lead. White shirts after the timeout. The quick trigger there by Chris Javier doesn't work. Sak Alanis will not waste any time. That's an air ball. Mark Yu keeps it alive, saves it to the wrong man. Marvin Lee with a counter steal. Lee, another rushed shot. In this game, this is far from over, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on to your seats. Pressure defense here by Bicolandia. Quint Ariar throws the ball away Mark Yu with the steal he brings it past the timeline Alanis goes right inside scoop with the left no good that's a stop for Mindoro and that's a foul maybe even out of frustration right there by Justin Melton gets the inbound Gallego pressuring Ken Bono relieves that pressure Absolutely no need to fast track things here for the guys in blue. Teodoro, the hot hand for the Tamaraos. That's going to be a foul against Mark Yu. And Bicol is already in the penalty. And that one really, Mark Yu got tempted because on this, he saw that Tete Teodoro had that open lane. And since him being the hot hand, you got to be able to stop him. But you defend without fouling, that's the case. They did the Doro a chance to up his total to 17 points in this game. Oh, for they did the Doro. That's right. And, and to your point, Javi, that really was a tip on the ball, but that body contact was the one who caused that foul to be called on Mark. The Doro sinks the first. Last year, 11.5 points per game. Still with Mendoro, and Tedoro was a 66.7% free throw shooter in all of 21 games that he played. 
out of the 20. Hi. Medoro, meanwhile, with still one time out to burn. Mark you at the last minute, gets it to RJ Dellis. That's a quick score. That's what they need. Right, and that's exactly what Dellis was saying earlier about uh, that attempt that they had. You gotta have that ball in the hand of Mark Dellis because he's the hardest guy scoring for your team. What's happening here? Our referees trying to say something to Ken Bono. I think it was about the uniform. Uh -huh. No call will be made. Play continues. The inbound to Tete Jitoro. Deles with 16 points and 15 rebounds. Desiderio, the pressure release. Now back with Tete. There's a double. Ken Bono tries to chase for it. Javier gets it to Deles like a hot potato. Mark you for three. No good. Marvin Lee with the offensive rebound. Oh. Ooh, a foul against Kit Ariar. But that's on the right side. Again, no more timeouts for Coach Raymond Valenzona. They need a quick score here. Mark you. Taking too much time. Gallego now. Right hand floater. That's good. 80 to 82. Nine points. And Reds Palma, the newest additions for Negros. They will be facing Marikina in the game right after this one. 82 to 80, the double here on Ken Bono. Oh, wow. Gallego gets the steal. Gallego goes all the way. Ooh. Foul against Ball Desiderio. JB will be taking two free throws. Rebound. You see some crazy things done on free throw rebound, especially in end game. We'll see what happens here. 8.2 seconds. There you see his numbers on the screen. Gallego, will he miss this or make this? And he decides to do it. Swishes that second free throws. 8.2 seconds remaining in this game. One point lead for Mindoro. No more timeouts for Coach Jair Kawaling. That's a quick foul. The quickest they possibly could commit. Situations that he loves. And you see that calmness on that shot though. Even the demeanor. 19 big points in the game for Tete Tedoro. 84 to 81. A three is needed for Picolandia. Marvin Lee, can he tie this? No good. And that's going to be it. What the ball game. Wow. This is just game one of day two here at the Orion Sports Complex. And we went down the wire. Almost needing another five minutes, coach. Yeah, you got to tip your hats off to Bigolandia. That was a good shot. Marvin Lee had a good look. A stop and a pop from three. It's a little bit to the right. That could have sent the game into overtime. What a great matchup between these two squads. Both teams really leaving it out on the floor after what was a shaky start from the field, both teams starting to get a rhythm, uh -huh. especially in the fourth quarter. A lot of lead changes. No team leading by more than 10 points uh -huh. in this game. But in the end, Mindoro, with the nerves being calm, wins this ball game and gets their first victory of the season. The losing streak continues from last year for Bicolandia. And for our Buenas best player of the game, who else, Coach Mike? Uh, definitely, when the chips are down, the stars gotta rise up. And so we give that back to Tete Chidoro. Our best player of the game is with Miss Anak po kay Aiko and si Pongkoy, si Alodia, si sino pa ba? Si Angeline, and lahat ng mga taga Mindoro, saka sa mga taga Pola, maraming maraming salamat sa support nyo. All right, once again, that is Tete Tudoro, our Buenas player of the game. Back to you guys. Thank you so much. And next, we have Negros going up against Marikina for the second game of our Monday triple header here at the Orion Sports Complex. For my partner, Coach Mike Perez, and for Miss Andrea Indicio, this has been Happy Palanya. Keep it here, locked on the MPBL.